Hikaru, a nice win with the black pieces, an attacking aggressive game. Seemed like very much your style. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah, it was an interesting game. I think my opponent was uh, a little bit too tentative. He wasn't sure what he was doing in the opening. And um, he, he was completely fine, but I think he just optically thought he was getting into some trouble. And um, once once he played this uh, F4 move, um, I mean, once I got this B5 and Bishop H6, uh, I think positionally it was just very, very difficult for him to play. I think probably he still had some resources, but he didn't find them in that moment. I mean, basically within like three moves, it just went from being like maybe slightly worse just being lost. Um, and I, I'm sure he had better better options, but he couldn't find them over the board. So the rest was pretty much uh, smooth sailing. So it's quite nice. You were playing for over seven and a half hours yesterday against Valentina Gunina. How do you recover after that? What What is it that you did right after? Because you were both of you were here till 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, um, I mean, fortunately, I had some food in my room, so I was able to eat some dinner. I mean, I, I think there, I had this other game in, like, Dortmund, I think, uh, 2011 or something against Meyer, which was some insane, like, 140-move game as well, which went, like, eight hours. The difference being that in that, that game, when I when I drew that game after eight hours, I, like, uh, I was able to, or I was not able to get food. I basically just went to my room and slept, um, whereas last night, at least, I had some food. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was a very interesting game. I think uh, the main takeaway is that rooks are just, like, terrible pieces, because I had, I had some other rooks against a uh, queen end game against Fabiano, which also I think the rooks were supposed to be better, and then Fabiano drew it very easily. And yesterday as well uh, was, was very long, and probably I wasn't winning until the very end. So, uh, I mean, it was just uh, one of those days yesterday. Three out of three, exactly what you were hoping for. You couldn't be happier. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, three out of three is good. Um, but again, there's seven more rounds. I think uh, it's a long tournament. I've already played uh, one very long game, and there are no rest days. So we'll, we'll see. But uh, many more to go. And of course, I haven't played any of the top top dogs yet. So uh, it's it's far from over. 100% score. But are you happy with the quality of the games? Um, pretty much. I mean, yesterday was very up and down. Um, but but yeah, I think overall I've played pretty well. So it's uh, it's a good start to the new year. I'm I'm, I'm pleased. Now, you uh, have been three times champion in a row at the Gibraltar Chess Festival. Are you looking for your fourth title this time? Well, I think it's my fifth. I actually, I won, won another time. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. But I mean, I've won this tournament four times because I won in 2008 yeah. or nine or what, whenever it was, some, sometime a million years ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, it's a very strong tournament. It's very early. And uh, all three years that I won, I think I was in a tie break. Or maybe the first year I wasn't, but the last year I was in a tie break. So uh, again, you know, it's, it's way too early to be thinking about winning the events. Certainly a three out of three is great, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not even having any of those uh, delusions of grandeur yet. And your thoughts on having another one of your colleagues, Lev Aronian, playing here for the second time, but the first time he played was in 2005, so after a big gap. Yeah, I mean, I think the funny thing is in 2005, we actually played here. Um, I think we played this, this Marshall Gambit game, um, which ended in a draw. So uh, I think uh, every year there's someone different who comes. I think last year it was Vichy. Um, yeah, <laughs> Oh, sorry, Vish was two years ago now? Okay, I'm losing my mind. Um, yeah, but it's always someone different every year, so I think uh, it's quite interesting to see how the other top guys do against uh, against slightly weaker opponents in, in an open field. Um, I mean, it seems, I guess the only guaranteed player here is Maxime. He seems to be here every year as well, but uh, certainly it's nice to see more of the top players coming and seeing a bit of variety as well. Absolutely, and my last question is now, when you play these top guys in a closed tournament, the psychology is totally different. How is it in an open tournament if you play against Maxime or Lev, let's say compared to if you play them in a GCT tournament? Uh, I don't think it makes a difference. I mean, I think the, I mean, what's, what's the saying? It's like, uh, just win, baby. I think that's basically all that matters. So you just have to win. All right, we love that attitude. Thank you for taking our time and good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Yay!